Admiral, welcome and thank you for your leadership. I want to follow on the questions that my colleague and friend from Rhode Island has been asking uh, about the, this next scheduled test um, for the GMD test scheduled for the 22nd of, of this month. Um, we have historically launched um, our target missiles from the Kodiak <coughs> launch complex. In fact, there were eight launches between 2004 and 2010. And I'm told that the last successful intercept that we had of the GMD system was when we used the complex there at Kodiak. Mm -hmm. So the question for you this morning is, given that uh, this next uh, test coming up in, in the end of June is going to be launched out of Kwajalein, uh, the last four years the tests have all come out of, out of Kwajalein, what do you see as, as the future of the Kodiak complex? Um, is, is there, are there plans to return to the complex for, for any uh, launches. D I would think, and I, I guess just looking at the map, I would think that there would be cost savings, actually, that, uh, that come from the Kodiak complex, given that you're you know, about 2,000 miles past Hawaii there. Mm -hmm. Can you just speak to the, the Kodiak complex and yes, where it fits into the testing? Yes, ma'am. And, and the Kodiak the Kodiak complex was very useful to us in the past, and I agree with your assessment. Um, and it gets really back to the chairman's question in terms of operationally realistic scenarios. In terms of a threat from North Korea coming to the United States is, is in, in layman's terms, head, head on. And that, that, that sort of geometry is very, very important to us. Uh, geometry uh, perpendicular, if you will, to the threat access was useful early on. But the way that we're progressing our tests is to be, uh, again, more operationally realistic and move c consistently up to higher intercept velocities and longer ranges are the two areas that we're concerned with. Um, I'll be happy to, to come over and share with you our assessment at a classified session in terms of the plan testing and the limitations that Kodiak has with those tests. Well, I, I would appreciate that level of, of discussion, uh, again, I think we recognize that we have had some, some, some good results out of Kodiak, yes, but there is clearly value. So it would be helpful for me to understand um, your perspective here. What is the annual testing requirement um, for the existing intercepts, and, and how, how do we maintain the, the confidence in the reliability for these systems while we're working towards um, the redesign mm -hmm. of the EKVs? How, how do you do this simultaneously? The, the, uh, the annual the first part of your question, the annual test cost for a GMD intercept is about $200 million. That includes the cost of the interceptor, the cost of the target, and all the support that goes into it. It's a huge national sort of level test. Um, the point on how do you ensure reliability in terms of everything that's going on with the redesign and everything that uh, is happening in the current program of record, actually, is um, confidence in um, reliability and component testing and modeling of the components to ensure that we understand where the weak links are in the design and work to improve those is, is one way. And as we return to 44, you'll see, I think, a renewed emphasis and focus in the program on that very issue. The, um, the recommendation <clears throat> for the uh, GMD testing here coming out of the various committees here in the Senate have, have recommended additional funding for maintenance and reliability upgrades that are not included in your FY15 budget requests. It, it appears, looking at what, these, what the various committees have, have advanced, that the amount needed to address the maintenance and the reliability concerns is, is in the range of 30 to $50 million. Based on your assessment of what needs to happen with the maintenance and the reliability requirements, how much additional funding do you actually think you need in the FY15 to, to make sure that, that we are to that point, that we can um, ascertain that we have, have what we need for the um, uh, maintenance and the reliability? I would, I would answer it in two ways, ma'am. 
inwardly within the agency, there's, there's amounts that can be made available through below threshold reprogramming and FY14, and, and we're certainly actively pursuing that within my authority. The other part would be to work through the department on a request above the budget request and to gain acceptance and, and really concurrence on the needed and necessary improvements in the program, and I'm, I'm working that today with the department. Okay, well, um, Mr. Chairman, um, I, I've requested an additional $250 million in the appropriations request that I had advanced for additional GMD upgrades. You know, certainly that is, that's higher than we're talking about here, and I recognize, given the budget environment, certainly willing to, to, to work to scale that back, but I do think that it is necessary to, to work to maintain the, um, the reliability of this system. So as we look to determine what that right number is, um, I would hope that we would have good discussion uh, on that 